I don't think it was that he was in love, but it was the look of betrayal. Tyrion has faced rejection his entire life, mostly from his father who hated him for what he was, but also from his sister, who hated him for what he had done. Jamie cared. Jamie didn't reject him. However, Jamie always chose Cersei. It's kind of hard to imagine but how would you feel if your brother and sister were in love and nobody in your life loved you? Tyrion killed his father and betrayed his siblings for his political ideals. He killed the only person who might have ever truly loved him. He had to choose. Now, he finds himself among not equals but kings and queens and once again they love each other more than they love him. It feels like rejection. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Love is the death of duty and Tyrion had every form of love killed in his life. All he has left is his duty and that's as dark and lonely as standing under a staircase in the night watching lovers have what you never will. I think there's sort of a puppy love thing going on, or there was, but that doesn't really feel like what this is. Tyrion somehow knowing R plus L equals J. This is not plausible, sorry. Having said that, I think we have some things to unpack. Tyrion was left in the dark about Jon swearing fealty to Donny and looked oblivious when Jon refused what should have been a common sense concession to be neutral in the Donny Cersei fight. So it looks like he's being frozen out, whether it's deliberate or not. In a similar vein, Donny's openly questioning Tyrion's motivations and abilities. At some point, if your boss accuses you enough times of working to help your own family, maybe you just do that? At the very least, Tyrion's position is shakier than it was. The entire reason Donnie left Dario and Essos, in story, anyway, was because she couldn't bring her sex boy to Westeros since she needed to make a marriage alliance. And now she has a new sex boy, who on paper should never be able to marry her, especially now that he's no longer a king, apparently, and still has no marriage alliance. We don't yet fully know what Tyrion and Cersei discussed that led Cersei to agree to the truce, even if she was planning to renege on it. Whatever they said to each other was enough for Tyrion to think the truce was real. What did he give up, or think he gave up, that perhaps he doesn't want Donnie to know about? Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.